In this tutorial, we're gonna see how to play with CSS in jQuery and we'll also learn about some events. This is the basic structure that we created in earlier video, the hello world tutorial in which we have included jQuery and our custom script which is this. You can find the link to that tutorial in the description of this video. So let's start. First of all, we create two divs. So div, we assign it a class my div1 and the text inside it is div1 also we create one more this is my div2 and the text inside it is div2 save it and in my style sheets i'm pasting some styles for those divs this is for my div1 my div2 and this is a dot that means it's a class so just reload in our browser so here we have two divs div1 and div2 we want to access the divs in jquery so we have to select them so go to script.js and dollar sign dot because it's a class and my div1 so this is how we have selected it and we want to access its CSS property. So dot CSS. And we want to add a CSS property, which is border. And its value is solid three pigs, which is black. I save that and reload. So you can see that we have access of the selected this div and we have applied a css property which is border similarly we can do this with div2 so copy this and div2 we can change its color save and reload so this is how we can access the css properties of any element by selecting it whether it's a class or the id we can also assign multiple CSS properties. So just remove this tag. This is just one CSS property, but we need many. So curly braces and like background this color. And we can say font size 35 pixels. I save that and reload. So you can see that the jQuery has changed the default styles that we have set in style sheets. We can change them for this too. So I'm pasting a few lines of code for my div2. And we have changed its background so reload so now this has also changed so this is how we can access or select any element we can do this on any event too so let's go to index.php and this is a button and its id is action bdn and its values apply css so it's like this and we can make these changes for these divs when the button is clicked so dollar sign and we want to select that button which has the id of action bdn so copy this hash for the id and a click event and whatever you want to do on this click event We'll do that here. So function and we cut this all code. So when this button is clicked, then this will happen. That means these CSS properties will be changed. So reload, click on apply CSS. And the CSS properties for these divs have now changed.